Okay, so this is probably not what you was expecting. Uh, but this is an iron worker. Uh, it has several stations on it. Uh, uh, right in there you can shear off angles. I believe it's 4 by 4 by 3 eighths. And in there you can see like some rounds and some squares. So that's for shearing that material off. This station down below here is just a shear. That's a piece of half by six there. And this is supposed to be a notcher, but uh, I'm missing some of the pieces for it, so that part of it don't work. And then we have a punch, a punch station on this on this end right here. Now this thing will punch a 13 sixteenths hole through three quarter inch plate. Um, I believe it will shear off down here. I believe it's five eighths by six. So I think it's somewhere around a 50 to 60 ton machine. And this this is a cling uh, made in 53. And there, I don't know if you can get that very good picture, it's not coming out. I don't know why lights catching glare. But there's an oiler up there that as the machine is running it pumps and feeds oil. Uh, maybe you can kind of see those lines right there. It drips oil to all the uh, lubrication points that it needs. And underneath this big, underneath that big cover there there's a great big flywheel and belts go around it there's the motor up there belts go around the pulley and then just right on a big flywheel so it takes a little while for it to get going so yeah there's a there's another oil distribution block but he's kind of messy every once in a while I got to go you know, clean up the old floor dry and looks like I need to do that now anyway, but anyway, let's start it up. Now, I know I'm missing one belt, so it takes it a little longer to get going. But you can hear it pooling up, or whatever you want to call that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's uh, see if we can shear off some plate. Yeah, that's going to be about ah, maybe an inch wide. You got to tighten this down so it won't move. And then you have a brake or a trip lever right there. Let's see if I can get this for you. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to trip it. There you go, just like that. Now if we come over to the other side. Um, I think that's a 25-30 second punch. And that's a piece of three-quarter inch plate right there. So let's see what it does, huh? Oh, and there's a trip lever on this side also. And then I keep a bucket underneath there. Uh, catch all the slugs in. Alright, here we go. Pretty fast work. So if you got a lot of plates to make and holes to punch, this machine comes in pretty handy. Okay, so what we got right now, you see I've got a stop set up in there and there's a piece of angle coming through there. And we got a 20 foot bar of a 1 8 by 2 by 2 angle. We're going to chop that whole thing up into 5 inch pieces. Well, I'll show you a little action here. Sometimes you got to knock them out of there. Like that.
knock out of there pretty fast. You can really feed stuff through this thing fast, but it's not liking to uh, let those things go, probably because it's a, a short piece. If I was having longer pieces, they would probably fall out of there. So, anyway, I'm going to I'm going to continue to cut up this chunk, and then uh, to get done with that, we're going to set up the other side for a, a small punch, and we'll be punching holes in those same pieces. Okay, so there I got all my pieces chopped up. Well, you see they all came out pretty nice. Uh, ended up with 45 pieces out of there. And I got a small, small punch, a very small little punch in there, I think it's about a quarter inch. And uh, that's what we're going to punch holes there with in there in a second, but I thought I'd show you a little bit more. This is some of my punches. Uh, this is a top die punch, and then this is your bottom, bottom die. And these dies are made so they're bigger at the bottom. And they are at the top so then when your metal pushes out it always expands and that gives relief for the um, drop to fall out of so those ones round uh, I have squares of different sizes big small there's some little ones in here too like that that must be about a quarter inch square they come in handy for uh, carriage bolts and I have a few hexagons punches uh, that's an inch and an eighth hexagon punch so you, you can punch through I, th I know there's a formula in the machinist handbook that tells you how many tons of pressure per size of hole per thickness of metal that it takes yeah this, this is a little a little rack that I made to keep all this stuff in it's just some pipe put together and, and I made these shells, so you just roll this one out. Now down here, we get oblong holes. I got several different sizes. And I think the next two drawers are just uh, um, miscellaneous junk drawers. And, and uh, tool holders and like, things like that. So... And I can roll it back out of the way, and it goes in there right beside my drill press. You know, whatever whatever shelf you want, you just pull it out and look for your for your punch. So now we're gonna fire this fire this bad boy up again, and uh, and punch some holes for you. Um, you see those lines on there? Those are my markings. Uh, for how I'm going to punch this. Uh, I, I have to hold a... I want to space them out this much. I don't want to mark any holes, see? So I'm going to space this out this far with another piece of eighth inch angle, like that. And then I put... That would be in between those two lines here. You punch one hole. And you move it over to that line. You punch another hole. And you move it over to this other line, and I punch another hole. So you'll see when we get going, it, uh, you couldn't drill these this fast.
I'm not real sure how these guys can put these film these videos up every week like they do, like Adam and uh, Tom Lipton and John Crossett. Some of the guys across the pond, they do it too. It's tough enough to do it one in, once in a while. I'll do a couple more. That'll give you a pretty good idea. Once in a while you have to stop and put a little oil on there. So I just have a little acid brush with a bucket of oil over here and tap that in there once in a while. that make this thing work. So I'm going to let you watch one of them while I punch some holes here. This machine is all, all mechanical.